Progressive Information and Communication Technologies, ICTs, are a driving force behind economic growth, national engagement and job creation. And yet 90% of the 4 billion people with no access to high-speed internet reside in developing countries, Zimbabweans among them. In spite of these and many other challenges, young Zimbabweans are forging ahead with ICT problem-solving innovations aimed at addressing challenges within their communities. Meet some young ICT innovators of today. I'm the founder of a startup called Hackshack. I'm the founder and business developer for Roommate. I founded a startup called Washa. We are Need Energy. My project is called uh, Deeply Classified. It's, it's an e-commerce portal. I'm the founder and CEO of Road Rule Solutions. Our project is Smart Go Application. It's um, a connection platform whereby people and uh, businesses get to interact. Roommate provides students with means to secure accommodation before they actually get to their campus. So we're looking at students that um, learn away from home and always want to get the best place. Our vision for the project is to see, uh, you know, in this technology age, we see everybody using the application so that there will be a smart way of doing transportation, especially in this transport uh, sector. We want to introduce a smart way of doing it whereby uh, there will be order, sanity in all major highways. Our vision to put it in a nutshell is we want to reduce road carnage and road accidents in Zimbabwe and in Africa using technology. The Minister of ICT and Courier Services, Super Mandiwanzira, reiterated our fears on the state of ICT in the country. There is enormous innovation in Zimbabwe, but unfortunately it is not organized. And what we want to do as a ministry and what we should be doing as a ministry is to organize uh, the talent that is available out there to make sure that uh, it uh, produces uh, ICT innovations that are useful to Zimbabweans, that are useful uh, to uh, the industry here. And in the process that they are gainfully employed and that we create uh, a, a bigger economy. So in, an, in short, if you say what is the preparedness, I'd say not organized, lots of talent out there but needing to be put together and helped to make sure that uh, those innovations are commercially sustainable. The, the biggest challenge that we've been having is uh, competition from other retailers who are already on the market who will, like, want to catch on to this uh, uh, whole idea of uh, LP gas delivery service. Well, there are challenges that we've faced, uh, particularly in creating uh, an efficient delivery system and also uh, finding and training washers to handle the job well. I had to learn more of the business side of things uh, given that uh, I was more of a tech person, I know my way around electronics so I had to get into the business model and then I think I had a bit of a challenge with uh, uh, importing stuff into the country so you find that uh, sometimes when you're trying to get into uh, stuff into the country there is really no fixed uh, value of things like customs duty and tax for these things so sometimes it depends on the feelings of the person who's uh, clearing the stuff at the time. So some of these costs fluctuate and uh, this has a bearing on the end price of the things that we have sold. The Ministry of ICT, Postal and Courier Services, in partnership with Portras as the implementing agency, which is the Postal and Telecom Mechanism Regulator Authority, are putting together, and it's been launched now, uh, the ICT Innovation Fund. The objective is to make sure that uh, we develop as a country innovations by our people that are used by our people. First and foremost, our people must be the initial market. But we don't limit this market to Zimbabweans only. This uh, uh, is, is a global space uh, in the ICT sector that must be occupied. We believe innovations that can be done here and are working here can be sold across other African countries. Beyond Africa can be sold globally. So we want to promote innovation by our young people. If people or systems or the ministries, the relevant ministries that support young innovators could come in and make sure that red tape that makes barriers for young innovators to implement their innovations in countries 
can be removed or can be reduced, that would be a good thing to have. To achieve this, we need a strong marketing campaign so that people get to know about Smart Go application, they go to know about uh, the advantages, the benefits that they will get from using the application. We believe uh, we require funding because we are actually bringing a solution to a problem that is there. If I can also work with a number of people that are outside of Bluayo, that could be great help in trying to translate that vision for the country and even the region. Takunda Chingonzo is one example of how far young ICT innovators can go given the opportunity and right support. Takunda is the co-founder of Neolab Technology, known as the Startup Factory, that works with young entrepreneurs in helping them turn disruptive ideas into scalable companies. Takunda has had the opportunity to interview President Obama on issues relating to enterprising African entrepreneurs. What we should focus as young people is what I call value chain businesses, right? They're those who are skilled in producing uh, whatever it is that they're producing, which is great. But let's figure out how to create a more efficient version of that product as it goes down that, that value chain from the farm until it gets onto the table. If you're talking about the registration process for companies being too long, right? What can we do to try and solve that? If you're talking about a system, can you help us design the system and bring that as a proposal? And the nice and beautiful thing about entrepreneurship is if the policies don't quickly adapt, they will be forced to adapt so long as we innovate. Our country needs jobs, we need industries, and the ICT space is a good starting point. Not very expensive entry point, but can develop products that can be sold for billions of dollars. That's where we must begin. On realizing the importance of access to internet, Skyhub, an innovation and technology hub, was set out for passionate young ICT innovators to get together and improve their communities. Most young people, all they really need is a community where they can be excited, a community where they can learn, a community where they can be challenged, and a community where they can continue to grow and develop into amazing people. Development and ultimate prosperity is only possible in the face of effective ICT policy reform, private sector investment and broadband infrastructure, access to affordable internet, fair taxation for the telecom industry, the use of universal service funds to roll out countrywide broadband infrastructure, and private citizen response.